For those who don't know, uh, there's going to be a complete change up. We're going to have three splits and then a season finals. The season finals is at the end of the season, as you see on your screen. Let, let me move my camera. The season finals is based off of the championship points that you gather throughout the season. There's three splits. There's a winter split, there's a spring split. The winner of spring split will qualify to MSI. So you see neatly the winter split and the spring split are going to fit in the scheduling of one single uh, split uh, in comparison to what we had in the past. Basically, the system each split is going to have is we're going to have best of one single round robin. So each team is going to play nine matches. So this is going to be over the span of three weeks, three weeks of best of ones on the same patch. Uh, we're going to have three back to back to back uh, super weeks, which is very exhausting itself. And it's going to be very, a very unique challenge for each of these teams. Based on the placings, the top eight teams are going to be seeded into best of three groups. Within these groups, uh, there's going to be a double elimination. Basically, if you lose two BO3s on your climb within the group stage, you're going to not qualify towards the playoffs. So basically, there's going to be two groups. And within that group, a winner fights a winner loser fights uh, the winner of both losers of the first round and then it's kind of like a i believe this is what people call a gsl format basically you lose twice you're out the crazy thing about this right is that um if best if the seeding is completely done based over the placing in the bo1s the weight of the bo1s is going to be so so heavy and there's going to be a chance that some favorites might get eliminated already in the top eight uh, competition because imagine a world where, as we mentioned before, BDS and XL and SK might play spoiler. They come in hot and heavy. They win a couple of games. And then all of a sudden, there's going to be a, a, a race for those positions, especially because teams face each other. Each uh, BO1, if you maybe have weak matchups in the beginning of the season and maybe stronger matchups later, maybe you're going to lose momentum. It is going to be so, so important because then again, I mentioned we're going to have three back-to-back super weeks which means three days of play the most exhausting thing about teams uh being forced to play three super weeks is the lack of practice and also the lack of recovery one little uh you know coin that the riot has tossed our way is that we uh basically not we i am not competing right now so the lec teams are uh playing on the same patch so at least there's that but if you have some bad momentum you're not gonna have a lot of time to get back up on that horse so best of ones very volatile and this is where the opportunities for the teams that might get eliminated here uh, maybe they get eliminated here they can practice so so much in order to prepare for the potential next spring split so you're always going to be chased by very very hungry teams that are going to do their best to try to knock you out and if you bring that into the context of um, teams that might potentially go to msi might have very deep runs into playoffs the amount of time that you have off before for example the spring split starts is just a single week so you have playoffs and then boom the spring split starts with a one week break and all of a sudden, those teams that might have been eliminated earlier, they're going to be breathing down your neck.